By now, I know you know that your checks have to get clean drinking water. But do you know what else should be included in that water for optimum growth and health? Well, in this video, we'll delve into that. Guys, here we are. So that's the distilled water. Now since we've already confirmed that the brooder is okay, now the next step is to mix up the water that the chicks are going to be taking. Now for the first water that these chicks are going to be taking, there are two very important things that you're going to give them. One is this that is called medicinal liquid paraffin. We mix the medicinal liquid paraffin with some, with some multivitamins. These multivitamins, they contain quite a wide range of multivitamins from vitamin A, D3. You can see it also has some dextrose or glucose in it, some energy source and some minerals. These are very important for your chicks when they're starting out. So it's up to you to decide which brand that you want to use what you're going to do is that you're going to mix this in to the drinkers and once you do that you're going to put them into rudas inside and then you're going to introduce the chick and i'll show you the process so let's do the mixing guys As you can see, everything now is well mixed, multivitamins with the liquid paraffin. And the next step, once you ensure that everything is well mixed, is for you to take them inside the brooder. Remember that each time you're going inside the brooder, step into the foot bath and you make sure that you disinfect your hands. So let's do that and you'll see us introducing the drinkers inside the brooder. So as you, we have added some wooden platforms. So these wooden platforms are for you to place the drinkers. Usually don't place the drinkers directly on the polypropylene. Those are spillages and you also need to make sure that it is on the level with the neck of the cheek. So you have to raise the drinker a bit and you do that using these wooden platforms. Now very important to note is that these wooden platforms platforms have been disinfected using a non-poisonous disinfectant. I hope you've been able to learn a thing or two. If you have any question about brooding, about any of this process, please be sure to ask at the bottom in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll keep adding new videos. And most importantly, guys, remember that home range is only the home of indigenous Kenyaji chicken. So here we have day-old chicks, poultry feeds, we do trainings, and we actually have a method where we're actually able to help you as to assist you even when you're doing your construction of your poultry house by actually supplying you with the BQs or the bill of quantities with the list of materials that you need and also the design itself for a poultry house. Check out our website www.homerangepoultry.com You may also give us a call on 0727-200-116 I hope guys you've learned something and remember guys continue doing poultry farming because it's profitable and it will continue to make you money.